and welcome. Kendra Morgan here for TLC Designs. Today I'm excited to share the new monthly sketch challenge for November. The online store has been updated with a product called the Sketch Easy Bundle number 104. This bundle includes one digital mini stamp set and one small coordinating paper pack for only $5. Now, if you're not familiar with the TLC sketch challenges, you don't have to purchase the bundle to enter. There's two ways to win. One, if you use any TLC product to create your card, follow the sketch and post a photo of it in the TLC Designs Creative Sharing Group on Facebook, you can be entered to win a free digital stamp set of your choice. Upload your photo under the TLC Designs Sketch EZ number 104 album, which is under media. Now, if you buy the bundle and use the digital products to enter the challenge, you can have a chance to win the grand prize, which is a free digital stamp set of your choice, plus a $10 gift certificate to the store. Anyone can play along and enjoy the sketch, but in order to win, you must use any TLC product, including the freebies. For this 30-day challenge, beginning November 1st of 2021, the bundle includes the Snow Buddies digital stamp set, which has this adorable illustration of a snowman with a hat, some snowballs, a little chipmunk or squirrel, and several sentiments like snowflakes and ice and everything nice. You're made of the best snowflakes. Stay cozy, my friends. You're my favorite snow pal, and it's snowing kindness. Now, here is the sketch, and it has a couple of rectangle pieces layered on top of a three and three quarter inch by five inch piece of pattern paper with three one inch banners. The scalloped rectangle frame die set is perfect to use with this, but if you don't have it, you can just use something similar to create the look, or just use your paper trimmer and cut out a rectangle. Now this Sketch Easy Bundle is a great value because not only do you get a digital stamp set, but you also get a set of digital papers. Here are the different papers in the bundle that I printed off with my laser printer. And I printed these to be five and a half by eight and a half inches, but remember because they're digital, you can print them to be any size you'd like. They will also be available for purchase as a physical product in the online store. A link to the bundle will be in the description box below. So when you purchase the bundle, you can get access to the files immediately so you can get creative right away. And you have until November 30th to post your photos in the Facebook group to be entered to win. Now I'll be using these two prints for the backgrounds on the two cards I'm going to share with you today. I'm using this smaller rectangle piece with the dots from the scalloped rectangle frame die set. And I went ahead and printed two of the snowman images for both of the cards. And I kept them the default size that they were in the download file. One has the little bird sitting on top of the hat with the snowballs at the bottom. And the other one just has the snowman with the hat. And I'll be using the sentiment that says, stay cozy, my friends. And this other sentiment that says, you're made of the best snowflakes for the other card. Now for the first card, I'm going to cut this pattern paper to be three and three quarter inches by five inches like it is shown on the sketch. And then I'm going to cut a mat out of this burgundy cardstock to measure four inches by five and a quarter inches. Next, I cut the piece that goes behind the die cut piece as shown on the card sketch. And this piece should measure two and a half inches by three and three quarter inches. Now the measurements of the die are two and a quarter inches by three and a half. So you just wanna make sure that your layers are a quarter of an inch smaller than the previous piece if you don't have this die set. So I'm going to use this die and cut this out of some white cardstock first, and then I'm gonna cut it out of the pink paper. And I'm taking the stitched hill die from the Land and Seas die set to cut out a hill from the white piece to go on the bottom so that my snowman will have a snow bank to stand on. Now this will need to be glued on top of the pink piece here. And now on to color my snowman. Now to color him up, I'm using Copic markers and I'm adding some very light shades of neutral gray where there should be shadows because I want to keep him mostly white. Now I tried to match up the colors in the digital papers with the colors of Copic markers that I have and these were the closest that I could find. And I'll list the colors that I used on the screen here and also in the description box.
Now, after I finished coloring him in, I fussy cut this out using my Fiskars Spring Assist scissors. These are my favorite scissors for fussy cutting because it allows for more control. Plus it springs back open, which is great if you have arthritis in your hands like I do. Now to cut the papers for the banner pieces. I'm cutting one inch strips from each of these three patterns. I'm using this banner punch that I have in my stash to cut out the fishtails, but you can always cut this out using your scissors if you don't have this particular punch. And I like to turn my punch over just to make sure that I'm sliding the pieces in there correctly. And I decided to do both ends because I wasn't sure which part of the pattern paper I wanted to use. So here I'm just trying to decide which one I want to place where. And once I figured it out, I decided to just snip off the ends because they're going to be tucked up underneath that rectangle piece. And then I realized that I didn't have my sentiment on here yet. So I decided to replace one of the pattern pieces with the sentiment, the one that says stay cozy, my friends. So I cut this down to a one inch piece and then I used the banner punch on it to give it the little fish tails. And it wasn't quite short enough. So I had to snip off the end and cut it again. For my card base, I'm taking a piece of heavyweight cardstock and I've cut it in half and then scored it at four and a quarter inches. I folded it over and lined it up against the edges of my scoreboard and then burnished it down with the bone folder. And now I'm just gluing down all of my pieces. To help make those banners stand out a little more, I'm using these black peel off stickers and I'm just placing them along the edges of the banners to give them an outline. These are great to use if you want the look of layers but don't want to add extra cardstock and make it too thick. Next, I cut three snowflakes from a snowflake die that I had in my stash, and I layered them up. The top snowflake I cut from a piece of glittery black cardstock, and the second layer is just plain black cardstock, and then the bottom snowflake I cut from a piece of white cardstock. And I glued these together, and I offset the white piece slightly so that it would show. And then to add bling and sparkle to the card, which we got, we got to have sparkle, I used the sparkle blend called Silver Bells. There's some tiny white snowflakes in this blend and also some silver iridescent circles and I'm just going to randomly place these all over the card. Now 
to glue these down I'm using my fine tip art glitter glue and then to finish off this card I added some Stickles glitter glue in the ice glaze color. It's kind of like a crystal color and I added that to the top of the snow hill and also to the snowballs and on the little pink poof on the end of the hat and then I added some Nouveau crystal drops in morning dew to the snowman's eyes for some extra shine and this pretty much finishes up card number one. Now for the second card, I'm using this pattern for the background, and this time I'll be turning the sketch and using it to make a portrait card rather than a landscape card. And just like I did before, I cut the background piece down to three and three quarter inches by five inches, and I cut my layered pieces out of the burgundy cardstock. And I'm using the rectangle die on this piece of light blue cardstock. I won't explain each of the steps to make this card since it's very similar to how I made the first card, but you can see each of the pieces that I have here to put together. Now I colored and fussy cut out the other snowman off camera and then I glued everything down. This time I popped up the sentiment with some foam tape and then I glued the snowman directly down onto the card, kind of tucking him under the edge of that sentiment there. And then for the embellishment, I cut out another white snowflake and I added it to the bottom right corner and then added more ice glaze stickles to the top of the snowflake and also onto the white part of the hat. I added some Nouveau Crystal Drops in Morning Dew to the eyes and the buttons of the snowman. And then I added some iridescent rhinestones to the three corners of that rectangle piece and one on the sentiment. And this finishes off card number two. Again, here are both cards that I made using sketch number 104. I think these turned out adorable. I really hope you like this card sketch and I hope that you'll join in on the TLC Designs sketch challenge and get creative with me. This new release bundle will only be on sale for $5 for a limited time in the TLC Designs online shop, so don't miss out. If you're not already a member of the TLC Designs creative sharing group on Facebook, I hope you'll join. The link is in the description box below. Again, you have until November 30th to post your photos to enter the challenge, and the winner will be announced in the Facebook group, so make sure you turn on the notifications. I look forward to seeing what you all create. Thank you so much for watching, and have a wonderful day. Thank you.